Good morning, I'm starting the vlog in my bedroom again today. Right, I've had the result of the antibody test. What do you think? It was negative! <laughs> I didn't know how I would feel about receiving that result or the alternative because there was kind of going to be pros and cons to both. I'd been thinking, what would I prefer it to be? I kind of wanted to have had it because I would have had a supposed theoretical degree of immunity, which of course would have been like having the vaccine, I guess. But then, you know, the wisdom says, don't behave any differently if you've had it because there's just not enough data to know if you're really immune or if you could pass it on and just have a milder case. Nobody really knows. Anyway, um, I haven't had it and I was kind of hoping that I hadn't had it as well because of long COVID. A lot of people have had COVID and had very, very mild symptoms, but then later it's come back and they've been worse and been quite incapacitated by it. So I was living in fear of that. So I am glad that I've done the test. I'm glad I know now not to get complacent and think I've got immunity when I haven't. And also I've kind of been a bit of a baby about getting enough sleep because I was thinking if it was COVID and then I just burnt myself out by burning the candle at both ends, for instance, then it could come back and be worse. I've been trying to make sure I get me eight hours every night, but because I often have trouble sleeping, I'm quite often still awake at three. And then I think, right, well, I'm, well I have to get up eight hours after three o'clock. And then I hate that then because half the day's gone. So anyway, I can have a little less now and then and not worry. But anyway, my boyfriend's here. I've been here working at my desk. Look, it's my vlog. Uh, that's all finished now for today. He's been downstairs working at the big table. Isabel has been right, lazy bones. She's still in bed. She says, no, I'm not. Really? You're living your best life in bed. Uh, I'm going downstairs to see how the boyfriend is getting on and we are shortly going to be going for a walk aren't we dear yeah looking how's your work going yeah all good excellent I'm actually on top of the housework would you believe <laughs> well the kitchen housework I've also done a wash load this morning so I'm gonna hang that out now that is done there are some on radiators in there but I'm not showing you because it's my underwear we're out and it is so cold look at the color of the road this is white compared to usual it's all frosty it is evilly cold well to us by our standards it's the camera's first outing with its winter coat on its wind muff that i hand stitched the other day so let's see how this goes i'll be really disappointed if there's a load of wind noise on it right now um my plan is i'm just gonna sew another layer on it if it does and then try that out The ground here is rock hard, you know, it's all ridgy. You expect it to give way under your feet, don't you? But it's absolutely frozen solid today, but it's very dry. The river was down to a very sort of a small trickle, really, wasn't it? It was very smooth on top. You could see straight through to the bottom, which made a change. So yeah, we were rather hoping for loads of snow. Well, I was hoping for snow and, and he was really hoping for not snow, uh, but we haven't had any to speak of really. It's a bit breezy, so I'm just kind of interested to do this to see what it's like on the mic. Yeah. See if there's any of that low bassy wind noise. Well, that's it, I've cracked. What, you're putting the snood over the head? <laughs> He's too cold. IB is, he doesn't get cold very much I'm compared to me. He is freezing. He's turning so, his yeah. snood into a hat. He's that cold. Oh, I didn't know I've got a better idea. A baseball cap, that's not going to keep you warm. Well, it keeps some of it in, doesn't it? Now I can have the snood as well. Mm. Stick it over the top of the baseball cap. Really? Yeah. I'm looking around all over the place for some lovely puddles of ice to play with, but they're all gone, they've all dried up. Oops. <laughs> oh no, the elastic's come off the fluff it. Right, stick that back down. It is cold. We won't be making this a long one today, I can assure you. We're both desperate to get into the warm, I think. We're actually going to get our lunch from Greg's today. Promised Izzy a baguette with ham in and she wants an eclair. Oh, oh I, I, I bees found some ice. Oh, oh, oh it's so crunchy. Oh my gosh, 
I'm, I'm living life on the edge. There's water under there as well. It's going to go. Am I going to go right through? Yeah, I'm not coming here out. Well, it's not that deep. It's only a puddle. Whoa, it's slippy. Okay. Well, your feet have got more ice crushing potential than mine. I'm well, you're a bigger man than <laughs> me. Look, more. Oh, it's absolutely solid. Solid. Solid as a rock. Do do do. I oh, said I'm going to get copyright strike now. <laughs> whoa, whoa. That reminds me of the day after tomorrow, the bit where they fall in through the um, shopping centre roof. Oh, it's really sticky. I think I'll beg it off if I go over. Whee! There, I've had my fun. Okay, we'll go back now, ID. Thank you. Oh, wow. Look at these icicles. Oh, I'm excited by that. Look at it. They look like ferocious teeth hanging down, don't they? I think there are some even bigger ones a little further along. Oh yes, I can see them. They are there, look at that. Oh, wow. That's a treat to see. They're melting, look, can you see the drips coming off them? I'm waiting outside Greg's. IB is at the counter doing the ordering. Saving me from, uh, you know, going in unnecessarily. We're back home. Um, we've come in to thaw out now. The Greg's things are out of the bag and we're going to sit down and have a bit of lunch together. I bought a lovely big loaf of bread while I was in there. That'll keep us going for a bit. Izzy loves the ham and salad baguettes, so we've got her one of those. And a donut because they didn't have any eclairs, so we just took a chance and got that. We went halvesies on a vegan sausage roll each because I thought it'd be a bit greedy to have pasty and sausage roll, but just really wanted to have a taste of it. Mmm. Oh, it's lovely and hot. Both IB just popped them in the microwave. Mmm. Oh man, I'm gonna have another one of Isabel's. Another one of Isabel's? Yeah. Oh, biscuits? Yeah. yeah. It's the better, you know. Isabel's biscuits are brilliant. <laughs> We're having a very decadent afters, cream egg. I was saying to him, I bet you eat yours in two bites, and he said, no, three. <laughs> I like to shave the chocolate off with my bottom teeth first. Mm. I'll make a right meal out of it. I end up licking all the fondant out bit by bit and then finishing off the outer shell. How do you eat yours? <laughs> That's how the slogan goes from the advertising campaign. There's an affiliate link coming on, I can see. Oh yeah, I'll have a look on Amazon, see if they've got a bulk purchase of cream eggs. I'm not sure how ethical it would be to put that in. Encouraging overindulgence. Mm. Oh, I've broken into the fondant layer. Mm. So I think IB went for the dog method, crick crack swallow. Like Enid Blyton used well. to say that Timmy did in the famous five books. Those boiled sweets are wasted on you, Timmy. It's just crick, crack, swallow, gone. Boiled sweets for a dog. That's slightly Terrible irresponsible, shit, well. isn't it? It was written in the 40s or 50s. We did, probably didn't what know. What were they thinking? Well, they were cruelty to dogs, I guess. 
Moby has long since departed, gone back to his place. Next job on my list is to get the SIM card which is in this phone, working in this one now. Quite a few days ago now, I went to a local phone shop and he is unlocking this phone for me, but it took days apparently. He set it off in motion and it was supposed to be done yesterday, but I just, I really wanted to clean my kitchen. <laughs> so that used up all the time. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna try and transfer it now. And if it doesn't work, I've got a number to ring and the guy in the phone shop is gonna talk me through doing the finalization of that. Oh, well, I've tried to do it. And as I suspected, I could not get it done. What he did before is he lent me an EE SIM. There's no credit on it or anything, but it enabled me to use the phone in the meantime, just for the internet stuff, because it wouldn't work at all without any SIM in it. He's got the code for me. He said to go in now and he'll just do it in the shop and it will all be sorted then. When I was in the phone shop, I picked up this case for it as well for a tenner and I really like it. It fits okay in my pocket. And since I've been fiddling around with it, it's so much faster than my old phone. So I'm really pleased. Videos do not keep stalling. I'm able to comment on YouTube videos without it crashing, which is what normally happens on my old phone. And I've been watching live Portuguese telly as well. And normally it just, it keeps crashing. The TV I like to put on when I'm doing my chores with my headphones. And it's a pain if you're washing up or something, you've got to dry your hands and try and reset it all if it's crashing. So I'm really pleased. Thank you, IB, for the phone. Ooh. <laughs> I love it when I be upgrades. Right, I have to go and get this sorted before the shop shuts. Well, I'm back from the phone shop and it's still not sorted out. He's had to make another call. Something hasn't gone through somewhere along the line. Anyway, he's gonna call me tomorrow and I'm gonna go back in and hopefully it should be sorted. In other news, I've just filled in Isabel's child benefit form and I'm about to put a stamp on that and pop it in the post while I've still got my shoes on. It's so cold out there, it stings the area around your eyes. Um, let's go for second class, shall we? 75p for second class. I don't know how much first class is. It's not that much more, to be honest. It is so cold out at the moment. <sighs> right, I'm gonna just nip out and post that now. Oh no, I've just got in and I found this on the table. It was in that envelope. I was about to throw it in the recycling and I found it. Um, I don't think that's the same address that I just wrote on the thing. I'm gonna have to check my footage in a minute. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> they said send it back to us on the form and that was the address at the top of the form. Well, the address at the top of the letter. The form was on the back of the letter. Mm. Oh well, I'll have a look at the footage and see if it's different. I'll. I'll find a way to email them. Anyway, right now I've got to put a check into the bank via my app. And then I think I might allow myself a bit of a free half an hour to chill out before going down and doing some flute exercises and playing along with some recordings that I've lined up in a playlist. Ah, oh, yes, this is the life. I am sitting on my bed. It's 5.30 in the evening on a Thursday. I haven't practiced yet. I've still got that to come. But, ah. Oh. It's freezing out, it's like minus two or something, which is cold for Britain. We're not used to that, I must say. I know a lot of my subscribers must think like we're total wimps because it's much colder where they live. But anyway, for us, it's cold. For us, it's like, makes us scream and go back in quick. <laughs> anyway, look, I've got some crisps. I got two of Izzy's delicious shortbread biscuits that she made. They are so good. Mmm, so good. She's used real butter and, oh, you can tell. Really good, she's got such a knack. Um, anyway, snow is forecast tonight from midnight. To snow all night, so you never know. The next vlog might be a snow day vlog. Might be. I know. My hat looks a bit silly, doesn't it? That's because there's a high pony in it. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to watch some vlogs and enjoy life and um, then do some practice, probably. I'm feeling a bit tired, though, must be honest. It's just by the side of the road here. You wouldn't even know it was a mechanic, to be honest. It's the evening now. I'm just getting some din-dins on. It's nearly done, in fact. Very simple. I've just fried some frozen tuna steaks up in this pan, boiled some potatoes, fried some tomatoes, and then I've chucked the boiled potatoes in there, chopped really small. I was going to do mash, but I just... 
fancy frying them in the oil and put some salt on there as well from the grinder. And just about done here in this pan, I've got some boiled broccoli and green beans. It's 20 past 10 at night now. I was a naughty immo. I rebelled against my own self and didn't practice my flute. I felt so shattered. I just wanted to sleep, but I watched some vlogs for a bit instead. And then I eventually got the dinner on, as you saw. We ate our dinner, enjoyed it very much. Both finished the entire plate full. And uh, I was getting so excited about the snow starting at midnight. And uh, I double checked the weather forecast and it's changed. There's no snow forecast until Saturday now, so. Oh, I was getting so excited. I was going to look forward to just tweaking, looking through the curtains every 10 minutes, you know, throughout the evening. Oh, well, that bit of fun's gone out the window. <laughs> anyway, if you have enjoyed today's video, do give it a like. It really helps the channel to grow. I so appreciate it. If you're new here and you'd like to follow more of our story, do hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.